doctors fighting through an all too common struggle came together today at El Paso's Children's Hospital to raise awareness. Juan Carlos Navarrete has the story. He's live with more. Evan Josie, teens living with type 1 diabetes, told me today they want to be able to advocate for their peers who have recently been diagnosed with the disease. Day of support inside El Paso Children's Hospital as a small group met to help teens fighting type 1 diabetes. Many people think diabetes is a fatal diagnosis where people lose limbs and have strokes and heart attacks. No, these kids are thriving. They're going to college, they're doing things, they're working, and they're, they're proving that you can live with this lifestyle. Though many who are diagnosed continue to live normal lives, doctors and volunteers stress the importance of catching type 1 diabetes in the early stages to make treatment as easy as possible. A child can uh, lose consciousness and can experience a seizure and at that point that patient is going to become an ICU patient as opposed to a patient who walks into the hospital. What the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund and El Paso Children's Hospital hope to do today is help clear up some misconceptions between type 1 and type 2 diabetes and letting local teens know that they're not alone when it comes to living with this disease. Because I've had diabetes, I've learned more responsibility, I've learned how to take care of myself, I've gotten amazing friends out of it. Um, it can really be beneficial and so it's really important to see what can come out of it instead of just the bad things that happen to you. World Diabetes Day is tomorrow, so if your child or a child you know has type 1 diabetes, feel free to go to kvia.com to find out more about the disease and some information about a support group for teens. Evan Josie, back to you. Okay, JC, thank you. And let's try it again. On